What is going on, homies? It's Britt here, bringing you guys another Call of Duty Black Ops commentary. Now, just a quick note about the gameplay, guys. This is a 93 and 7 on the map Nuketown, and I'm really, really proud of this gameplay, guys. I was playing solo, and I almost got that 100 plus. So, uh, if you guys don't like me so far, it's really this is an exciting gameplay for you because you get to see me choke three times. Hip hip, hooray! <laughs> Well, anyways, guys, I'll get the 100 plus eventually. Let's get started. Um, I want to talk to you guys about one of the nights that is probably my greatest achievement as well as my greatest shame. Um, this night happened back in the 10th grade. It was a musical theater cast party, and there were about 100 people in the cast of this, of this um, play. So there were 100 sweaty, horny, drunk teenagers in a basement. AKA every parent's nightmare. So I, uh, I'm at this party, I'm about six or eight beers deep, and what do you know? The girl who I'd been sort of into for about a couple months starts talking to me, and I was like, oh baby, it is on. Turns out she had been sort of into me, but was also like kind of afraid to, you know, date. She was a grade older than I am. She was, you know, kind of afraid of the whole 10th grade stigma and whatever. And this girl was kind of a loose cannon. She was kind of a uh, say what I mean kind of girl. Like, no, absolutely no bullshit coming from her. So, uh, I'm talking to this girl. And we start making out. And I get a little bit of boob action. That was really exciting for me. And after making out for about 10, 15 minutes, we, uh, she pushes me away. Looks at her phone. Looks back at me and goes... I have to go talk to the boy I like. And then she fucking left the party, which was kind of okay with me. I mean, I was, I was like, making out is only fun for so long, you know? And uh, so she leaves the party, and I just go talk to a couple of my other buddies. And then this grade 12 girl comes over and just starts talking to me. And, you know, you, you know whenever a girl at a party pulls you aside from your friends and just wants to talk one-on-one, -on -one, you know it is on. So uh, <laughs> we're, we're having a little conversation and we're sitting on a bench press. She ends up just moving on over to my lap and just starts making out with me. And I was definitely cool with it. I was, I was sufficiently hammered at this point. I had had about 12 beers on top of a Jaeger bomb and a couple tequila shots. So I was plastered. And, you know, that might seem like alcohol like enough alcohol to kill a small elephant and it definitely is but I'm a I'm a pretty big dude so it you know didn't affect me quite as harshly as it would have affected someone who was pretty small I'm six foot three two hundred so you know it didn't didn't really mess me up too badly um, and I uh, so I'm making out with this girl on this bench press and then she pulls me into the bathroom and I was like oh boy this is this is gonna be very very exciting and uh, so I go into the bathroom, and this bathroom door did not have a lock on it. That is a problem. Now I, uh, I make, you know, we're making out. I'm getting a bit of a, a blowjob, which is probably, uh, I think it, yeah, it was my first blowjob. So that was um, really, really awesome. <laughs> and then the bathroom door opens, and lo and behold, there is a guy with a video camera. Welcome to my friendships. And this guy, he just bursts into the bathroom with a video camera, laughing his ass off with about four other dudes. And um, so if you guys ever want to see a video of my underage PP being touched by a woman, it's probably out there somewhere. Um, so yeah, guys, after that glorious, marvelous blowjob, I, uh, I ended up leaving the bathroom. And right outside the bathroom was a, a couch. So as I'm leaving, I got a couple of, uh, couple of cheers a round of applause from a few people who were sitting on the couch and I was I was a little bit embarrassed because you know like how could you not be but I just go sit on this couch and I'm talking to this girl who I've known for a very uh, about uh, I've known for really well for about three months and um, so I'm just talking to her we're just having you know a good conversation and then she just attacked me just like started making out with my face and I was like oh oh my god oh well okay and so I made out with her for about five minutes and then kind of just, I just kind of pushed her off me and went, yeah, I've made out with two other girls tonight. Maybe this isn't the best idea. And I just walked outside because I needed a little bit of fresh air. And uh, outside I see my buddy Matt and Matt is the kind of guy who 
you know, I'll tell everything to, and then I'll regret telling everything to, because I know Matt will tell everything <laughs> to anyone who asks. So I'm, I'm talking to Matt, and we're just like having a good conversation about everything that happened. And Matt still bugs me about it to this day. He still comes up to me and goes like, Oh, hey, remember when you got blah, 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 at a party? Three girls? <laughs> yeah. Um, so then the next day, I'm at the mall with my mom. And uh, I was just shopping for some clothes. We hopped on in, into the Apple Store for a couple minutes because, you know, how can you go to the mall without going to the Apple Store? And so uh, we're at the Apple Store. And who do I see? the first girl who I made out with that night and I was like really afraid that she would be angry that I made out with you know two other girls and but she didn't know she had no idea and so it was still a little bit awkward for me because you know I felt like kind of a dick but then she she apologized for you know the way she had acted and saying like oh I have to go call the boy like she was like yeah that was kind of bitchy but yeah I'm sorry and uh <laughs> so then she gave me probably the most awkward hug I had ever gotten in my entire life and because <laughs> it was in front of my mom and then she left so anyways guys that was uh probably one of my more embarrassing moments and uh one of my greatest shames because i just felt so dirty after so thanks for watching guys i hope you like favorite subscribe you know leave a comment telling me how to improve my storytelling or uh you know what else i can do to improve and bring you guys the best call of duty content that i possibly can I uh, hope you guys follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash thebrittyj, and t maybe tweet me a question for the next commentary I make. I want to do a question and answer video so you guys can get to know me a little bit better and just know what kind of stuff I'll be putting out on this channel. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Peace!